Hi, if you're using Confluence and whiteboards and AI, I got the special video for you because I'm gonna hit you with the triple whammy, how to do some really, really cool things in Confluence if you got AI, if you got the whiteboards, and if you're using automation rules. This video is presented by NASA, not another stand-up app. Did you know that thanks to the question-based modality, it can now be used for planning sessions, retrospectives, and different types of meetings? Try it out today. So let's make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's make sure you drop a like if you get value out of this video. And most importantly, don't forget to check out the links down below. I got my merch store, my paid courses, my free courses, all the other stuff that I got going on. I'm publishing a book very soon, so pre-orders are going live in just a few weeks. And there's a membership opportunity if you need a little extra help with your Jira and or Confluence problems. Let's jump into the video. Here we are inside of Confluence and what we're gonna be focusing on today is we're gonna be creating an automation rule. And this is not just any automation rule, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating an automation rule that leverages the power of AI and the power of whiteboards to essentially auto-create whiteboards for us. And so let me show you how easy it is to do this. So inside of automation rules, we're gonna click on templates and we're gonna go down to collaborate. All of the three things that we're gonna be talking about in this video are unfortunately, and it does really break my heart to say this, but all of these three features are going to be specific to premium and or enterprise versions of Confluence. Atlassian is on this trend where all the cool new stuff, not only is it not going to data center, <laughs> but all the cool new stuff is really being gate kept at that premium or enterprise level. So unless you start paying an arm and a leg, it's gonna be really hard for you to get access to these really cool functionalities if you're like on standard or free versions of Confluence. So again, not something, these I don't. These are not the rules I make, these are the rules Atlassian makes, but it does really break my heart a little bit because at least Atlassian should give us a taste of being able to create one or two, but it's all or nothing, unfortunately, in Confluence right now. So anyways, we're back in the collaborate section and we're going to click on this create whiteboard when page with roadmap is in titles created. As you can see, there's a couple of other ones where uh, when post incident review is in there or when you have uh, roles and responsibilities is changed. So you can change these, you can modify these. These are just templates. They're designed to kind of get your, your feet wet, uh, get your creative juices flowing, but they're just there to essentially get you started. So here we are, I opened it up. It automatically has all the steps in there. So we're listening for when a page is published. And then this is interesting. We have an AI condition. So this is where we're gonna start folding in AI for the first time, but this won't be the only time you see this in this video. So AI is an interesting one for me because it's going to be listening, right? Look at this prompt. You pick a prompt, there's a couple of different prompts here, and we're gonna be listening for the title. In the title, does it have the context of roadmap? Now this does imply that I do not have to write the word roadmap in my title, right? They should be smart enough, fingers crossed, to detect that the title of that page has something to do with road mapping. Now I have tested this and it's not that smart. So I am gonna play it safe in this video and I'm gonna include and make sure that the word roadmap is in the title, but I would challenge you to try and see what it does with you. Now here's why I'm saying the word roadmap because the text that it's listening for is roadmap. So that'll be the condition. Again, cool new feature. I haven't seen these in Jira. So this AI condition is a newer thing. And this is kind of interesting. I, I'm, I'm curious to see if it does exist in the Jira world, because I do love making automation rules over there. But here we have it first time in Confluence. And then the action is going to be that we're simply going to create a whiteboard. Now, the title of that whiteboard, even though we have a misspelled prioritization, come on, Australia, right? We're going to have a prioritization, colon, and then the title of the page. So we're going to click on turn on rule. This is going to make it so, make it available. And we're simply going to come over here click the little plus button, click on page, and I'm gonna come up with a new page. ATEC Fall 2024 Content Roadmap. And now I'm gonna trigger an AI here to help me out, and then we're gonna do a brainstorm, and I'm planning out my 2024 content strategy. I need five categories for different types of post, and give me five examples for each category. Enter. And so now Confluence is gonna help me populate this page. And I don't have to worry about it, so it's really cool. I like what I see. I'll click insert. 
right? So my page is good. I have a good title. I got the word roadmap in here and I'm gonna hit publish. Now this, assuming I play my cards right, should trigger the rule. But this is interesting because this may pop up, right? It's smart enough to go, hey, you got the word roadmap in there. We happen to have a template called roadmapping of creating whiteboards. And this I don't think should show up. I think I'll ask this is a miss on your end because if I click on show me how, this is going to go and create a duplicate automation rule. I don't want that. And I'm afraid to click on not now. So I'm just gonna click on the X because I don't want it to create another rule. I want it to leverage the rule that I've already created, all right? And so we're gonna go into our automation up here. We're gonna find the automation rule that we did create. We're gonna click on rules over here. We're gonna open this one up. We're gonna go to audit log. And here you're gonna see that we have success. And I can click on the show me more. And this is basically telling me what it did, right? And so you can see that we created a whiteboard with prioritization and the title of it. And so now if I look over here in the bottom left corner, you will see that I do now have a whiteboard called Prioritization Ape Tech Fall 2024. And now I can start doing whatever I wanna do inside of my whiteboard. So this is really, really cool. It leverages the power of AI, it leverages the power of automation rules, and we're leveraging the power of whiteboards. So three really powerful capabilities built into Confluence that if you're not using, I think you're missing out a little bit because those three cool, awesome features are something that everybody should be using. Anyways, that's it for this video. I wanted to just show you how to make these automation rules and get your creative brainstorming minds going. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed. We have a very, very big discrepancy. And most importantly, check out those links down in the description because you do not want to miss out on the merch store, on the courses, on the membership opportunities, and just different ways that you can help support the channel. That's it for this video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to enhance your standups with NASA, not another standup app. Get the most out of your daily meetings with clear updates and automated action items.